You reap what you sow, but you don't always reap where you sow. I have three clients and I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna help you from the realtor side and from when I was using a realtor when I bought and sold my first house. So I have three clients, two of them have signed up with me and they have done the paperwork. I'm their realtor. This third client, he is not quite signed, but we stay in constant communication. I'm building a relationship with him. And this is important because we will say, I'm not gonna do any work for them. They haven't signed and haven't agreed to, for me to be their realtor. I'm not gonna be wasting my time. I'm not gonna let them use me. Well, if you manifest that and you say that they're gonna use you, then that's what your result is gonna be. But also remember that even if you work with them for weeks, you work with them for months and they decide to go with someone else, all your work is not in vain. I'm gonna show you what I mean by you reap what you sow, but you don't always reap where you sow. So we've been in constant communication. We're building a relationship. He's an older man, him and his wife, and he's not quite ready because he's working on his credit and I'm helping him with his credit. So the other two clients that have signed their paperwork with me, it's just transactional. You know, they say they're gonna do this and you know, we do our thing, help them find, you know, we do what we do. But with this one, he's constantly talking to me, calling me, telling me about updates, but yet he hasn't signed. So here's the deal. When I bought my first home, I already knew what I wanted. I knew the house I wanted and I didn't, know that I needed a realtor, but I didn't feel like I needed one. I didn't even know I needed a realtor. So 2017, I bought my first Perry home. I went out looking for my house because I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted to be here and for my dad to be this far, my mom to be this far so I can go and reach them easily, right? And they can come and reach me. We were, we were right there together. I knew I wanted a four bedroom house. I knew I wanted a premium lot backed up to the woods. Even though the saleswoman, when I had told her, this is the Perry home I want, this is the design, even though she told me, well, Maybe you should look at getting the smaller one next to it and I, because she thought I couldn't. Well, you know, so are you and your husband? I'm single. And that's the one I want. I don't want the smaller house. I want the four bedroom with the office, the premium lot, the widest lot on the, the block, on the street, backed up to the forest. I don't want neighbors behind me. Then she ran the numbers. Oh, oh, mm. I knew exactly what I wanted, but I didn't know at the end that I needed paperwork you know, to be looked over to make sure that it was, you know, legally correct, everything was right. So when I got to that part to close, I was like, man, I think I need a realtor. So I found a realtor, my cousin um, uh, referred them and he didn't have to do anything. I had done everything. I found my own house. I did all the driving. I did all the, you know, using all the gas and all the energy. I did that myself. He didn't have to do anything but show up at closing just to make sure everything was good, right? So imagine if he had spent that whole year working with other clients and he had spent weeks and months working with them, working with them, working with them, and then they walked away or they used someone else or, you know, they just took up all his time and energy and he got nothing. But then he came to me as a client and then boom, he didn't have to do anything and he still gets his reward. He didn't have to do anything but just show up that day and he came with a nice gift, of course you did. And he didn't even um, require the full 3% commission. So I still got a little bit more back as, you know, his client and he still got something, a reward, even though he didn't have to do anything. So what I'm saying is, even though he didn't sow with me, he still reaped the reward. So whatever you do for a client, if you're intuitively led to just do things for them until you feel like they're gonna sign or not. You just have to know on the inside, right? But don't feel like it's in vain because it's not. I'm building a relationship with this guy. I'm talking about three weeks ago, I'm gonna call him Mr. P. Three weeks ago, he came to me with a 580 credit score. And, but he's been talking to me and calling me every, what, what do you think I should do about this? What do you think about this? And I'll ask him, let me see your credit score. Let me see your credit report. I used to do credit repair before I got into real estate. So, I was helping him with his credit three weeks ago. He called me yesterday. He said, I know I'm probably bothering you, but I'm just so excited. I just want to tell you what you told me to do. And I'm now I'm at 614. So what I'm saying is nothing that you do is in vain. Even though he hasn't signed, he keeps telling me when I'm ready, I'm going to call you. We're going to call you. This is what they want to do. They told me what kind of you know house they want, where they want it built, how they want it built. So I know all that stuff. So I'm ready when he calls me. But some people will look at that as, you don't know, he might walk away. That's your manifestation, that's your belief. I believe that he's already my client. He's already my client. He has said it, he has said it, he keeps coming back to me and I'm building a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? And he even said, you know, my daughter just bought a house if I had known about you, but we're gonna work with you, we're gonna work with you. So I'm building a relationship and a referral through this man. So even though you may say, well, he could walk away, even if he does, 
whatever I've sown with him, I'm going to reap it through another client. I'm going to reap it some other kind of way. It's just like you having an ex-husband or an ex-wife that has done something to you and you walked away from it or just a boss, somebody that did something really bad to you, you walked away. That doesn't mean that you were the one to give them their so-called consequences. They're going to reap that some other kind of way. Another employee is going to come and probably steal everything from their company or just, you know, another person is going to come and, you know, wreck their life. Not speaking negative or bad upon them. I'm just saying people are always going to get their reward and a reward is not always a positive consequence like we think. That's what we think and that's fine. But a reward is a reward. When you work evil, <laughs> you're going to reap evil. When you work good, you're going to reap that as well. So remember, you will always reap what you sow, but you not, may not always reap where you sow. And if you're led to help a client to a certain extent, you'll know when you need to stop. And I really feel like me helping him with his credit and him being an older man, so excited about his, his score, so excited to call me and tell me that it, you know, it increased. I'm not worried about the fact that he hasn't signed the paper that says I'm his realtor. He has said he's going to do it. I believe he's going to do it. That's my manifestation. And it, regardless, I'm just, I just help somebody do something in their life that they're very proud of that they've been struggling with. And now they have even more hope to get a house. So why wouldn't he use me? And he's not even using me. That's the thing. He's not using me like they're just going to use you. He's not using me. If anything, I'm using you <laughs> to sow good seeds and to, you know, plant into a garden, which I know I'm going to reap. I know I'm going to reap good in return for helping someone get their score or whatever you do, whatever you do to help somebody, it's never in vain, okay? You will reap what you sow, but you may not always reap where you sow.